If you can control a man's head, you can control his body. Where the head goes, the body follows. This is an important principle, and it's one that should be burned into your memory banks, okay? At all times, whenever possible, without risking anything to yourself, manipulate the guy's head. Don't let him stay calm, don't let him stay, don't let his spine be aligned, okay? A lot of times what I'll go for when I'm saddled is an under our under neck control with one of my arms, okay? I like to do that. When I do establish that, again, let's get to the, let's turn this way. As in all the other positions, unless I'm going for some crazy choke, I want, I don't want the space to exist here. I want it nice and tight. Need be, I'll try to grab his tricep. Keep my head down low. Just to make it hard on him, okay? My body, when I'm riding him, should never generally be directly in line with his, okay? I want it to always be cocked just slightly. It doesn't have to be cocked like this. Just slightly. My hips. Because this is the way that I'm going to be able to exert more force. It's very important that you realize this because maintaining a position in itself is not going to win you the fight. You've got to hook this guy. Either by a punch, strike of some sort, uh, or, or a submission hold. When I'm in this position, there may be times when I want to walk my way up his body to try to get a hold, okay? Um, one of the things that you have to realize is you have to be, before you can control him, his body, you have to be in control of your own body. You have to be very kinesthetically aware of what's going on, okay? One of the things that I do is turn sideways, please, is by doing the principles of keeping his head out of line, okay? What I want to do is I'm going to establish a torture hold, which is a submission. I'm going to drive his head this way. I'm going to bring this leg up here this way. Now notice, I, what, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to crank his neck. This is not going to be a neck crank, which you're going to see here. What I want to do is I want to put his body in a position like that, where it's stretching out this opposite side of his rib cage. Okay, so if we turn, he's going to end up like this. I want to put a nice stretch here, okay? This is an old carny trick that the old carny wrestlers used to do when they would get saddled up on people. I'm going to do it from several angles. We're going to go nice and slow. you got to bring his leg out, and you just drive this way. Okay? And the more that I drive and bring his leg up, the more that it's putting stress on this part of his rib. Now, to make it, to make it more effective, we're going to show it from a different angle here. Let's spin around this way. Let me get my leg out. Bring it up here. Do this, and this is all done in one motion, but I'm breaking it down now. Is I'm going to take his arm and pass his arm here. And this is very uncomfortable on him. And what this allows me to do is to slide up into different kind of arm bars. Okay, it's a very strong way for me to go up his body. Now I'm going to show it to you once again, the principles. I want to do an outside grapevine like this and keep him low. Before he has a chance, if he's attempting to break it, go ahead and break it, I can lift up and control it and just go to here and start driving him. Then just pass his arm. And now I can slide up and get my arm bars here or take it across his face. There's no point in me sliding around and, and going down to my back. I don't want to do that. It gives him too many chances to counter. So, let's get back to that. So what I did is, from a heel back, brought him up. Now notice that I shifted my body. From here, my hip has to be driven low to the ground. This is going to prevent him from bridging, okay? If he tries to turn into me, turn into me, I can just scoot down, keep my hip low, and I'm driving him back. I can actually take the lock this way and cradle him. I make it a very, very tight hold down. He's going nowhere. Let's spin around. Show it to you from the other angle. I took it here and just cradle him. He's going nowhere. 
I'm driving them nice and tight. I can turn this into a toe hook or a leg lock very easily, which we'll cover when we get to the leg locks. But this is one way of making the saddle uncomfortable. Another thing that I do, I'll take my knuckles and I'll drive my knuckles into a xiphoid process. It makes it very uncomfortable on them. I'm bearing all my body weight down and it's uncomfortable. Now couple that with holding his head makes it very painful, okay? I never want this person to relax at all. I can use the, the nose thing up underneath in there, carotid artery, neck twists. We're going to cover all of these when we get to the head manipulations. Just want you to see that the whole point is never let them relax. Now we're going to move on and show you one other variation from this position. <laughs> 